Investigators are piecing together why this crane came crashing down on a Dallas apartment building. Experts say one focus of the investigation will be whether the crane was allowed to turn freely, making it better able to withstand the force of Sunday's 71 mile per hour gusts. Oh my God, the crane is falling over. Oh my God. They have a system on them that in the event that of uh, high winds, that uh, they will release the brakes and let them weather vane. The crane crushing parts of the parking garage and apartments below, killing 29-year-old Kirsten Smith, injuring five others. Experts say these massive towers rising hundreds of feet are built to withstand high winds. I'm not going to say high winds can't cannot blow one down, but I will say this, it would take a substantial amount. The crane's owner, Biggie, has been hit with 17 OSHA safety violations since 2013. That year, a Biggie crane collapsed in Arkansas, killing one man, injuring eight others. The company eventually settled and paid a $28,000 fine. Crane accidents in crowded urban spaces are known to be deadly. In April, a crane collapsed onto a downtown Seattle street, killing four. Oh, it's falling, it's falling. The whole thing. Oh, oh, it broke. Oh, and this horrifying moment in New York City in 2016, a crane falling, killing one and injuring three. Now in Dallas, officials trying to determine if this latest incident was preventable.